hello friends welcome to my channel and in today's video we will learn about a very important topic which is observable and promise so in this video we will see uh, what are observable and promise what are the differences and uh, uh, which one we can use in which situation so without wasting time let's get started as we know javascript is single threaded programming language it means the code in javascript is executed line by line so once the first line get executed after that only the second line will get executed it means it is synchronous in nature so uh, let's first understand what is synchronous and asynchronous uh, data when we try to execute two process once the first process execution gets completed after that only the second process will get executed so this scenario is called synchronous in nature so basically if your first process is not completed you cannot go and execute the second process so this is also blocking in nature uh, in the other hand asynchronous is non-blocking in nature so you can execute multiple processes at a time and that's why we use asynchronous uh, data calls to make API request in angular there are ways to handle the asynchronous data we handle asynchronous data in two ways one is promise another is observable we will see one by one what is promise and what are observable so uh, let's see this diagram let me tell you about the promise so first of all from the client which is our UI one request will be sent to the server to get let's say we have uh, millions of user right so there will be one request sent from the UI to the server to get all the users data and this will get all the data from database right now since we have millions of data so what promise will do it will wait for all the data to come and once it gets all the user data it will make the response and send all the data at once so here what is happening promise is waiting to get all the data and it is sending all the data at once as a form of response right now let's take a look on observable now let's suppose in observable we are sending a request to get all the users data uh, which is in millions so now what will happen here observable will keep on pinging the server and whatever the data it will get it will send these data into the chunks so it will send the stream of data as a response whatever data it will get as a response it will send so this is the uh, basic difference so in the promise it will wait for all the data to come and it will send you all data at once while in observable it will keep pinging the server and whatever data that it will get it will send those data into the stream form as a response so by the diagram you can understand right now let's take a look on the difference between observable and promises so if you see a uh, promise emit a single value at a time so basically it uh, what does it mean it means that it waits for all the data to come and it will send a single data at a time right while observable will not wait for all the data to come at a time either it will uh, it will emit the multiple values over a period of time okay now promise are not lazy executes imme immediately after creation so promises are not lazy in nature so it will basically immediately uh, execute after the creation while observable are lazy 
they are not executed until we subscribe them using subscribe method so what happens uh, in order to get the data from observable you need to subscribe the observable so you will see uh, how we can do all this uh, in uh, in my next video when I will be writing the uh, services and then subscribe it uh, but for your information in order to get data from observable we need to subscribe it okay now since you can subscribe the observable you can also unsubscribe the observables while since you don't need to subscribe the promise you also uh, cannot cancel it right and promise don't provide any operations uh, on top of it while uh, while observable provides you map for each filter reduce retry retry when operators on top of it so that's the difference between promise and observable in next video we will see how we can write http services using observable and how we can use subscribe methods uh, to get the data from observable that's it for this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks for watching